Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the 10 most useful Chrome extensions, not only for students but also for those who are working from home. But let's know first what Chrome extensions are. Google Chrome extensions are programs that can be installed into Chrome in order to change the browser's functionality. This also includes adding new features to Chrome or modifying the existing behavior of the program itself to make it more convenient for the user. So here are my 10 most useful extensions based on experience. First one is a Podcastle app. Podcastle converts text news or articles to a podcast with very natural human speech using machine learning. This extension has also speed and voice customization setting. These impacts include compaction, loss of soil structure, nutrient degradation, and soil salinity. These are very real and at times severe issues. The effects of soil erosion go beyond the loss of fertile land. The health of soil is a primary concern to farmers and the global community whose livelihoods depend on well-managed agriculture that... Another good thing about this is that you can download the podcast and listen to it anytime. You can also share the link to your family and friends. The second extension is I don't care about cookies. Yes, you heard it right, the name says it all. I don't care about cookies remove cookie warnings from almost all websites. The EU regulations require that any website using tracking cookies must get users' permission before installing them. Imagine how irritating that becomes when you surf anonymously or if you delete cookies automatically every time you close the browser. So, simply go to Chrome Web Store and add this extension to your Chrome. Enable it and voila, it saves you from annoying questions regarding cookie permission. The third one is Link to Text Fragment. This is another time saver extension that easily creates a special link to the currently selected text on a page via the context menu. When opening such a special link, a compatible browser will scroll the selected text into view and highlight it. You just need to select the text that you want to link to, then right-click and choose Copy Link to Selected Text from the context menu. If the link creation succeeded, the selected text will be briefly highlighted in yellow. You can now paste your link wherever you want to share it. In my case, I'm sharing it with my friends through a messenger. This saves the time from explaining to them where and what paragraph is the one I am talking to. Because once they click it, it will prompt them to the text that I highlighted. The fourth extension is Dual List. This can be added to the browser to increase productivity. In short, the extension it splits your screen to emulate that of a dual monitor. This tremendously increases productivity by helping with multitasking. You can keep different tabs open in separate windows. An added function is the presets that come along with this extension. You can choose the ratio to split your screen into. This lets you prioritize your primary window while letting you access and view content on the secondary one. While the dual list extension can be used for everyday multitasking, it is especially handy when presenting in Google Meet. Dual list gives you the power to separate your Meet windows from your content window. This is especially helpful for teachers. This way, when you are presenting, you can still keep an eye on your students in the Meet window while viewing the content that you are sharing in the other. The fifth Chrome extension is Cite This For Me. Yes, with this Chrome extension, citing your sources is easier than ever before. APA format, MLA format, Chicago, and Harvard referencing are included citation styles. To cite a website in your paper with the extension, simply browse the web page you wish to cite. Then click the Cite This For Me icon to generate a correctly formatted citation. You can then copy and paste the citation into your assignment directly, or select to add it to your online bibliography for safekeeping until later. The next extension is Screenity. This can record any screen that is open in your Google Chrome browser. It even lets you live annotate on them. This is a pretty useful tool for those who are working from home and also for the students who are continuing their studies digitally. Now, to use Screenity, all you have to do is add it to your browser from the Chrome Web Store and start using it. No unnecessary sign-in or payment is required. So once you add the extension to your browser, you need to allow it to use your device, camera, and microphone. This is because 
the screen ET, apart from recording the screen, it also records your face in a small floating bubble and internal as well as external audio using the microphone. You can then choose to record one of the tabs, the entire screen, or just your face staring at the camera. You can also turn on a 3 second countdown timer and push the talk control. Next we have here a Strict Workflow. This extension was once named as Strict Pomodoro but has been renamed for some reasons. If you have watched my self-care video, I discussed here what Pomodoro is. So this Strict Workflow is actually based on the Pomodoro technique of working in focus burst followed by short breaks. It's a wonderful tool for timing work sessions and blocking distracting sites. With so much of our work being done on computers, Strict Workflow is a much more convenient tool that comes with additional productivity enhancements. This free extension times your work sessions and breaks. Reminders ring and appear on screen when it's time to switch. During work phases, Strict Workflow even blocks distracting websites. The idea is to work diligently and with focus for no more than 25 minutes, and then take a short break before jumping back into your work. The next extension is called Tab Groups. The problem of having too many tabs open is one that's common to anyone who spends time on the internet, whether for work, school, research, online shopping, or even just browsing for fun. Tabs start to stack up with all those things you need to come back to at some other time, unless, of course, they're part of your permanent collection of pin tabs that never get closed. Tab Groups in Chrome help you organize your tabs. Now, with a simple right-click, you can group your tabs together and label them with a custom name and color. Once the tabs are grouped together, you can move and reorder them on the tab strip. Others would organize tabs by urgency, labeling them things like ASAP, This Week, or Later. Google also suggests tab groups can be used to help keep you focused on task progress by grouping them into areas like In Progress, Need to Follow Up, and Completed. And if you prefer a more minimalistic look, type groups also support the use of emoji in their labels. The next Chrome extension is called Viva. This is the best highlighting tool for website and PDF. This is free and easy to use. You can now simplify your research process, focus on productivity, and not waste your time on keeping track of sources, copying and pasting, or making citations. With Viva, you can highlight websites and PDFs with multiple colors and make annotations, revisit them with a single click. You can also organize your highlights into folders and subfolders. You can create citations automatically for your highlights and access your highlights anywhere. Your highlights and notes are saved in the cloud. Viva is trusted by students, researchers, business professionals, and people who simply just want to do better and more efficient work. Viva adapts to your needs and research style, giving you the flexibility to review your articles and sources every time you research online. Viva runs in the background while you visit web pages. Saving, editing, organizing, and browsing your notes is now easy with this Chrome extension. The last extension is called Dark Reader. If you are a fan of dark mode in all apps and devices you use, chances are you have also applied a dark theme in your favorite browser. Google Chrome does support dark mode, but it still does not darken the websites, leaving it out to the website's developer to have a dark mode built in, for example, YouTube. This is where Dark Reader comes to the rescue. 
This eye care extension enables night mode, creating dark themes for websites on the fly. Dark meter inverts bright colors, making them high contrast and easy to read at night. You can also adjust brightness, contrast, sepia filter, dark mode, font settings, and ignore list. Dark reader doesn't show ads and doesn't send users data anywhere. Before you install this, make sure you disable similar extensions. Here are the Chrome extension apps mentioned in this video. Podcastle All, I don't care about cookies. Link to text fragment, dual less. Cite this for me, Screenity, Strict Workflow, Tab Groups, Viva, and Dark Reader. Well, that's it guys. Those are the 10 most useful Chrome extensions that's good for productivity and organization. If you know other Chrome extensions that might be helpful for students and for working adults, share with us by commenting down below.